I'm Lex. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I'm doing something a little different. I'm actually gonna try to do a get ready with me. Well, we're gonna see how that goes. I figured today would be the perfect time to try this out. My good friend Kiana, well no, not even her, her mom invited me to a Haitian ball. And I'm very, very excited for this. I'm just so glad that I have friends that are willing to incorporate, you know, their other friends that may not have a similar back cultural background into their culture and into their experiences. So it's going to be completely new for me, but I'm always down for a new experience. Like, that's just how I am. And again, I'm just so glad, like, I have a friend that's willing to share that with me. And I know it's going to be a good time. She's always a vibe. It's always going to be a good vibe. Yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm starting out fresh face. Just got the shower. I'm going to start off by putting on my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Silk Primer all over my face. Disclaimer, let me just start out and say, I am not a makeup girl. <laughs> I pretty much just use the same products every day. I have a very simple like makeup routine. I do the same thing all the time. So I'm not like, I, I'm not a makeup girl. I wish I was though, like, don't get me wrong. I wish I was. Like, I have always thought about like taking a class or something like that, just so I can get, um, just so I can get like some basics down. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna do a simple face, but like, sometimes a girl needs more. Like, I don't know. Hey. Kelsey, I'm actually recording right now. Look what Kelsey just FaceTime me with. Talk about should I get it for Coda? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Kelsey, all of those are cute. But the bag is very cute, yes. Coda can't have a Chanel. She, I, I don't even got a Chanel. Coda can't have one. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take my beauty supply store. LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Natural. And I'm just gonna hit like some problem areas, like dark spots or whatever first, just to get those out of the way. And y'all, um, don't come for me and my makeup brushes. Like I literally just did my makeup yesterday, so they have product on it. So don't come for me. <laughs> so I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm so glad that I'm getting the opportunity to go out tonight. Lately, I just have not been feeling like myself. Some of my friends know, but my family knows too. Like on February 11th, my boyfriend and I were driving down to Atlanta in his car. We're like, just a cute Valentine's Day weekend. Like we had, you know, a hotel booked. We had other stuff booked for the weekend. We're just going to go and have a good time and just uh, spend some quality time together. But on the way down, we ended up getting rear-ended on the highway you know, thank God, like, we're okay. But it could have been 20 times worse than it was. We were rear-ended by someone who just wasn't paying attention. And unfortunately, my boyfriend's car just ended up getting totaled. And he had just got that car, and I feel so bad because I know how hard he worked for that car. Like, he deserved that, and it was perfect for him. Like, it was his. Now it's just gone, like, but I know, like, of course, like, it's all in God's plan. Like, everything happens for a reason. There was some specific reason as to why we did not need to be going to Atlanta that weekend. And we can't argue with that. I'm just glad we're okay. We walked away with just lingering back pain issues. And I had a black eye. But, um, again, it could have been way worse than, than what it was. So I'm just very grateful that we are here in this condition right now rather than it being something 20 times worse. So my camera turned off. I don't know what happened. This camera has been, I got a new camera, it's been overheating. I, I don't know how to prevent it, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I need to call Sony and see, or like, probably like, cash in my warranty or something like that. I don't know, because this is ridiculous, like, and I don't know when it's about to turn off. Like, I don't know what's going on. You I'm taking my um, Fenty Beauty. It's the Pro Filter Hydrating Long Wear Foundation in the color 300. Put that all over my face and I'm just um, taking my makeup brush to blend it out. But, but yeah, like, I, y'all, I don't know what's in the water. Like, even today, like, I went to South Park Mall. Actually, I decided to stop into Nordstrom for myself because 
you know how that go. As I was checking out with the sales associate, um, right after we finished the transaction, he turned over his shoulder. He's like, yo, what the f is going on? And I was just like, yo, I was like, what? And I looked over him. I, we just see a rush of people just like running into Nordstrom and yelling, active shooter or shooter. And we're just like, yo, what's going on? And so we just like immediately take off and run through the back shoe, like the shoe stop run and out the emergency exit to the back of the mall to try to get to safety because obviously we didn't know what was going on. So definitely a crazy and scary situation. Come to find out this guy in the mall who had his gun in his holster but had the safety off and he ended up like shooting himself in the leg when accident. So I, I'm very glad now to know that it wasn't a public threat, but in that moment, like you don't know what's going on. It's just like, yo, what? I don't know what is in the water. I don't know what's been happening. And there was another situation kind of similar to that that happened um, in the uptown area as well, close to my area. And I'm just like, yo, like what is going on? So it kind of makes you feel like you don't want to get out the house like you don't want to take those risks and like but i don't know so i just have a really good feeling i'm just hoping it's going to be a good fun way and a good way to like kind of regroup and get your mind off things because i don't know what's in the water but i just gotta trust that it's all in god's plan i'm gonna continue to trust it's all in god's plan that he's got us covered and protected because that's all i can do okay that's all we can do i have my hair back because i don't like getting makeup in my hair i don't know about y'all but mm, i just mm -mm. Next, I'm going to do my brows. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in the color chocolate. And I'm just going to brush out my brows a little bit so they don't look too crazy. And y'all, like when I start my brows, like it's going to look a little crazy at first. But I promise, like we're going we gonna to clean it up with some concealer. So don't, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, baby. So let me... I'm starting out, so I always start out by like outlining my brows. I start by outlining my brows on both sides and then I go in lightly, like fill it in. I have a lot to do, like I still don't know fully what I'm wearing yet, um, but I have an idea. And the pants that I want to wear, they're way too long, so I'm going to have to use some um, heat bonding fabric tape to hem those pants so that they're not too long on me and i don't know how long it's going to take hopefully not too long because i mean like i it doesn't take long for it to bond but you never know things can go wrong like so let me hurry up but as y'all can see my brows look crazy right now they're i drew them on really thick but that's okay like i said i'm gonna clean it up with some concealer i'm just taking that same um la girl concealer I'm going to just go under my brow and clean it up and start to thin it out a little bit. But then I'm just going to go on top of my brows too, just a little bit and clean those up too. And make sure like my arch is defined on both sides so that they at least look like sisters, like my brows look like sisters. I'm just taking my concealer brush and I am starting in the middle and like bending them out a little bit. Um, and then cleaning up my concealer underneath the brow and on top of the brow. I got my brows, I'm not in love with them. I don't, I don't know what's been going on with my brows lately, but they'll do, I don't have time to fit feet going back and forth fixing them. So, <laughs> Now I'm going to contour a little bit. I'm taking this old cream contour stick I got like a long time ago. I think I was still in grass so when I got this. I got this from Walmart, but honestly, it was the best thing walking. I have no idea what this is, um, but you can see like it's down to the bottom. It's down to the bottom at this point. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do when it's gone. <laughs> um, if you have any cream contour recommendations, please let me know because I need to go ahead and get on it before I get disappointed that this is gone. Like, that's just the honest truth. But I hit like underneath my cheeks a little bit. I hit my nose a little bit underneath my lip and under my chin. My face is very round, so I try to do as much as I can. But I'm just taking my um, flat angle, a flat angle brush and I'm buffing that out on both sides. It's gonna look harsh at first, but I'm gonna um, blend it out, I promise. But this is just my method, it's just what I do. Again, I'm not a makeup girl. 
Um, so if you're looking for a makeup girl, that's not me. But um, hopefully it can be me soon if I like actually put time and effort into learning how to do this. Um, so yeah. And also, I'm not a full coverage girl. That Pro Filter foundation that I got, the Fenty foundation, like it, it gives coverage, but I have freckles. And honestly, I don't like, I don't try, I don't like covering those up. If I'm being honest, so I always like a foundation that doesn't give me a lot of coverage. I contour my face, hit my chin and my cheeks and my nose a little bit. And now I'm just gonna take my concealer and clean it up a little, not clean it up, but um, define it a little bit. So I put a little underneath my contour both sides. I hit my chin to highlight that, um, a little bit on my forehead a little on my nose and then I'm gonna hit my under eyes too but I like to wait to do that because I put some powder on it immediately after that concealer goes on and gets blended in because I don't want any creases so you know oh my god y'all have y'all seen the new Bel Air and the new Proud Family Louder and Prouder honestly I genuinely think those shows are so good like Bel Air is so different from what I originally thought was gonna happen like i thought they were literally doing a true reboot because i didn't watch any of the trailers so i went in completely blindsided and you know that show is so good like if you haven't seen it go watch it like it's so good like i can't i can't rave about it enough and i'm so excited for the new episode to come on this thursday because y'all it's, it's that good to me like i love it and then proud family cute it brought back so much um nostalgia um and yeah so if y'all haven't seen it definitely go watch it i'm so glad like we're getting television like that i'm gonna go ahead and hit under my eyes now with that same concealer i don't put too much because again like but all my freckles are like right here i don't really like to cover them up like i'm gonna take my laura mercier translucent honey powder and i'm gonna put this on and I use a, y'all, I cannot talk today. I use a beauty blender to put this on because I feel like the brush, if I use a brush, like it holds a lot of powder. Um, the beauty blender holds a lot of liquid products. But I feel like the powder just kind of like glides right off onto my skin when I use it. Use a beauty blender for the powder. So I'm hitting all of like my highlighted areas. And I don't let this sit for too long because I have dry skin and um, I can't do a lot of powders like that. So I let this sit just for a little bit, not long, and I'm going to take this little fluffy brush and just like blend it out. And I'm also blending it into my contour, my contour a little bit so it's not as harsh. And yeah, that's pretty much it for like my actual base. I'm gonna do my eyes and lashes. So now I'm taking my Sephora Lash Craft Length and Volume. I'm gonna hit my bottom lash line first. Oh, yo, girl, I'm so ready for tonight. Like, it's gonna be such a vibe. Like, I don't know. Y'all really just don't know. I'm going to start putting on my lashes. So I am using this Lash Couture Foaming Collection. I don't, can't remember what kind this is. And then for adhesive, I'm using this Duo adhesive. It's actually an eyeliner and lash adhesive. So that's why I didn't put too much mascara on right now because I still need to like hit my lash line with this. So I'm just adding a little bit. I'm doing like a small wing on the outside, nothing too crazy. I'm also going to apply this to the lash line. And here go my camera overheating again. Y'all, this, this is so annoying. I'm just going to apply it. So I just like flip the lash up and stick the lash line as close to like my lash line as possible. And then I start in the middle and then I work my way to the ends. Like, I can't talk and do my lashes at the same time. I like it just don't work. See this, I don't even like this lash like that. I don't even like it like that. Like it's gonna get the job done for tonight, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, just not giving what I thought I'd give. I kind of struggle putting that one on. I'm gonna 
do the other one off camera and then I'm gonna come back. <laughs> So this is going to be the look for tonight. I'm taking just like a beauty supply store brown pencil. And I outline my lips and then I'm just going to take this NYX Butter Gloss and Butterscotch. put that on my lips put out that liner mm, I don't know if I like this I might wipe it off but this is what the makeup look is giving right now like it's gonna just gonna have to do so now I'm just going to fix my hair just a little bit I mean my hair is already done like the hard part is done I washed and put this wig back on earlier this morning I just need to touch it up a little bit because I've been running all day so yeah I need to hurry up because I still need to get dressed I need to get my life. So I'm just taking my flat iron and I'm hitting the ends again of the wig. And I'm just slightly bumping them in, not much. This is a U-part wig that I got from Amazon for a decent price, if I have to say. I'm going to link it down below for y'all if you're interested. But it's just a U-part wig. I do have some leave out here. I'm going to be honest, like I did cut my leave out a little bit to match the length of this wig. But it wasn't a lot. It was like maybe about that like my leave out used to come in me about right here but honestly i don't mind it because some ends were a little straggly and they honestly needed to go so i ain't mind it if you're cool with cutting your hair or if your hair is even shorter than this length that's the perfect wig for you it's completely effortless i didn't do a tutorial on this wig it was just like a youth part wig that i did really quickly um, and I didn't do too much to it. I used some dark and lovely honey blonde box style. I'm gonna insert like the reel that I did for this. Like, cause like I said, I didn't do a full tutorial, but I'm gonna put the reel that I did for it right here. Um, I used some honey blonde, um, dark and lovely box style to color it. And honestly, it, it ain't turned out honey blonde, which I, I did not expect, but it ain't turned out honey blonde, but it matches my natural hair color almost perfectly. So yeah, like, it was very, very easy. This wig is effortless, very easy to put on, and um, just overall user-friendly. Like, it doesn't take me long to do my hair right now at all. So, I will link it down below. Go and get this wig. Like, I'm telling you, it's perfect. <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I gotta go, so, but this is the look. This is what we're working with tonight. It's gonna be a vibe. I'm so excited. So, I'm gonna catch y'all when I'm dressed. back up okay <laughs> so i gotta go but this is what i'm wearing these pants are from men men year they walk i don't know if i'm saying that right the shirt is from amazon balance these shoes are from forever 21 i think it's a cute simple look and we're gonna go and have a good time i almost forgot my scents so I'm mixing Zara Ebony Wood with Chanel Paris Venice. That's gonna be my scent for tonight. We have that one. You might look so cute. Hey Alexis's hey, vlog. Yo. Oh, not me introducing the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's no, no. It's all good, me. <laughs> so this is Kiana. This is Manta. Hi. <laughs> but we about to get ready to go. To Compa. Where are we going? Okay, so we're going <laughs> to a ball. It's Charlotte's first ball, which is like a Haitian, if you could imagine, like a what club. Ball, B-A-L. Oh. If you could imagine a club. I've been calling it a ball this whole time. It's kind of like the same thing. Yeah. Really? Okay. But it's okay. not. It's ball. See, I'm learning, y'all. <laughs> but if you could imagine like a club with a live band and it's a Haitian 
band and so it's called Sinclair. they're very popular i'm not really familiar with their music um but it's a situation yeah i'm and going we, for the vibes yes i'm going I'm, for the vibes she haitian tonight i'm so excited <laughs> for her to get exposed to like our culture this is amanda she's also haitian she's a miami haitian she's a real deal and my gay 305 day kind of took it to the hot ow, <laughs> okay ow. okay look that part <laughs> <laughs> Look at Kiki. Okay. <laughs> Her vlogging. So we came into the gas station because Gianna needs to put some on her stomach. I'm here for the experience. So. That's what we do. This girl is so fire. in the background it's my toilet i don't know why the water is running this toilet always be making noise and it's annoying but i just got home it's like 4 a.m i put on a little sweatshirt but y'all i'm tired i had so much fun at the ball tonight like that was probably the most i've danced at a function in a while and it was just with women like they were just like come on like you need to get up and dance like and i'm just like i don't know what i'm doing and they're like it's okay we gonna show you everyone was just so embracing you don't get a lot of that you know on a normal basis but whatever i really enjoyed tonight i'm so glad that kiana and her mom invited me out and wanted to share their culture with me so I had a ball, like I can't wait for the next one. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I would love feedback. I just love to hear what you think. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm really, really, really appreciative of you clicking on this video and supporting me. Please be sure to subscribe. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm about to go to sleep, like I'm tired, but I will catch y'all in the next one. Thanks again for the support. I will see y'all later. Bye. I got the pretty, pretty little and I like no stress. She got the but she needs some love. She got the but she needs some love. But she tell me, say, you're the only one for me.